Morning, guys. Morning. Welcome to week 20. 20 weeks we've been doing this. Mm-hmm. Wow. Five months. Anyway, so I am, we are currently actually about to have breakfast. I made this potato scones and eggs. I'm trying to remind. Yum. So, I didn't sleep very well last night. <laughs> my mummy got up quite a few times. Anyway, we're going to have breakfast. Oh, I forgot my coffee. Oh, I'll get it in a minute. Um, and watch Master Chef. Okay, bye. Hi guys, it's 10 to 1. James is back and going away soon. <laughs> James! Say hiya. Good boy, smiling. Your belly button's getting better. Ooh. Yeah, his belly button's getting better. James has an umbilical hernia. Which is most common in boys and C sections and early babies, and he was all those things. So he has one and it's away now. Well, it's getting away. Getting, away. So getting there. I feel so good now that I cleared out my makeup because this is a palette that I was going to get rid of, but I think I changed my mind in the video. And it looks good. I'm liking it. James. James is not very happy. I'm trying to clean that screen, it's mine. Anyway, um, I'll check him later. Bye. It's half past three. I've been editing for the last couple hours, but that is all the makeup declutter videos edited. So the next three Wednesdays at two o'clock, you'll be getting a declutter video on the channel. First is face makeup. Second is eye make. No, yes, eye makeup. And then third is lip products. Oh, done. Now, it's my grand's birthday. She got some of her present because it arrives at her house, but I'm going to go and give her the rest. And then I might, do a beauty room declutter for the Wednesday after that because I have to get it done. I might film it. I might go up and do that because that room's annoying me. So I think I might do that. Uh, I also need to do James's seven month update video at some point soon. That might be a bonus video one week because I don't get a ton of viewers on them anyway. There's only really family that want to kind of know that. So I might film that. I'm going to film that next weekend, but I might just put that up on like a random kind of Monday or something like that as a wee extra video. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to check in later. Bye, guys. Okay, I was at my granny's for a while, so I haven't actually done any of the beauty room yet, but I think I'm going to do it after dinner. Paul's bringing dinner in, and then I think I'm going to do the beauty room tonight. I at least want to start doing the declutter tonight. I think I might do it, start it tonight, finish it tomorrow morning. But I'll film it. But the other three videos are done. It's amazing. It feels good. They're edited. They are all scheduled. So they're good to go. It's crazy. Like, I can't believe how many... Like, how long we've been doing this for. It's nuts. Anyway. I really appreciate all you guys watching and stuff. So... Um... Yeah, we're just going to chill tonight. We're getting our cocktail delivery again. It's going to be within the next four minutes to hour. Okay, I'm just about to take my makeup and that off. But look, so this eye makeup was put on at like 12. So probably about, literally about 12 hours ago. Even longer. And look, it's like not even budged. It's amazing. That's a little mark from my glasses and my nose. But it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. That's that rose gold shade wet with some all nighter. Um, the kind of mauvey colour and then the sparkly purple underneath. I love it. So, plan just now is Paul is watching the Scotland game and I need to clean the kitchen. So we just have stuff. I was clearing out this bag earlier. I need to put stuff away. I need to do dishes and just overall tidy it. So I'll show you when it's done. Um, I know I spend a lot of time with vlogs in the kitchen, but that's just life. This is the room that we use a lot, obviously. So, okay. I'm going to make breakfast now for me and Paul. Because James is hit his and is sort of kind of getting ready for a nap. So I'm going to make our breakfast, which is going to be potato scones and fried eggs. Okay, my tip for making fried eggs is making sure that you have enough oil in your pan and that your pan is hot. Put it in a cold pan, it's annoying. You want your hot pan to be hot. It doesn't have to be on the highest heat, but you definitely want the pan to be hot. So I leave that while the potato scones are made, are getting made. And then 
when I've flipped them is when I put the egg on. And then I end up with decent eggs most of the time. One thing you need to remember though is that when you're using the same pan twice is that the same time it's going to take a lot less time to cook because the pan's already hot. So just be aware. But I think with lovely fried egg for myself and potato scones and Paul's already got his nice yolky eggs. Yum. Good morning. It is um, like quarter past 11. James slept amazing last night. He slept from like quarter to eight until six and then he went back to sleep till half nine. How is that even a thing? Anyway, um, Paul is night shift today. I am going to run in the town quickly because I've got a few things to do. I'm going to do that before um, Paul goes to work. Well, Paul goes to sleep because I'm not going to be that long. I'm literally going to be like half an hour, an hour or something like that, get some stuff done. And then it just means we're prepped um, for when Paul's back at work. This room is looking so good. Because you'll see this video. Um, it's a clean with me declutter um, of this room. It was crazy. It looks so much better now. Anyway, um, so I'm going to go into that now and I'll catch up later. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. James is in bed. Has been for about an hour, actually. Um, oh, I'm tired. So I'm going to do dishes. There's a ton. And then I'm going to go to bed. Um, he has definitely been a bit fussier at night time just now. Because it is... He's not napping a lot through the day because he's sleeping so much at night and stuff like that. So it's just been a bit of a challenge getting him from like five to bedtime. Sometimes like six to bedtime. But tonight it was five to bedtime. He was not happy. Anyway, I am just about to do these dishes and then I am going to go to bed. Um, hopefully he sleeps like he slept last night. I also put the stuff away in the living room. I just try and leave the house as clean as I can. Especially the downstairs as clean as I can the night before. So that the next day... I'm just not waking up to it all, so that's the plan for just now. Hello, it is half past eight. James is in bed. Um, has been for a while actually. He's been he's been like fussier at night because he's not napping as much throughout the day because he's sleeping so much at night. So it's just hard to get him to bedtime. Hey guys, it's Wednesday. I just realised I have not vlogged yet today. It's been a bit of a full on day. James has had a couple of naps, but when he's not napping, he is, like, very full on at the minute. Say hi. Paul's getting ready to go to work soon. Joyce. Say Kiki Bruce. He has ears in my <laughs> Oh. And the dummy fell out, so he's crying. Anyway, um, yeah. Didn't really do much today. Just looked after James. <coughs> We'll see what tonight brings. Probably nothing. I'll share, share with you later. Once he's in bed, I've got a few things that I want to get done. So I'll do that later tonight. We'll check in later. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. It is Thursday. Once again, I haven't vlogged today. Um, Paul's been night shift. But I'm going to do a quick clean up of the kitchen. And I'll film that in this video. So at least there's a bit more. Because I looked at it today. There's only nine minutes. Anyway. Um, quick clean up of the kitchen. So this is what we're looking at. Most of the dishes are clean but he put away and it will just be easier once it's clean so I'm going to do that. So just a quick heads up, I get some of this done today and some done the next day which you will see in a couple of minutes. Um, I've really sped it up quick. I am starting off here by doing Paul's lunch. I made him chicken teriyaki and noodles to take to work. It's really his dinner because he takes it for night shift. But anyway, and then I am doing dishes and putting them away to try and start the mess of the kitchen. Some cans of juice. I've also put our kind of grill plate back on our oven because I had moved it 
keep it over where the kind of wok part of our oven is. I'm making myself some diluting juice because at this point I think I had a headache and needed some more water. And then I've put that wok back in. I've nipped into the bathroom quickly, that's why I'm off camera here, um, to clean a little bit in there. And then I come back in and start a load of laundry that needed to be done definitely as well. washing all those dishes um, I've used to make Paul's dinner so that I don't have any dishes at all in the sink. It always feels good to me when I don't have any dishes in the sink. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't love having them sitting up there either because that can end up sitting there for a few days, but these dishes did take quite a while to wash because of the teriyaki sauce and it's sticky and kind of sugary and sticks really badly to everything. Okay, so I'm just out of Tesco. I literally nipped in for a couple of minutes to grab some baby formula and stuff while James at my in-laws. I'm gonna go back there now and have my dinner and then we'll be heading home. But I did that clean of the kitchen earlier. I know I did a clean with me recently on our channel with the, with the kitchen and living room, but our kitchen is lived in, our house is lived in, so it gets messy quite quick. And especially I think when Paul's night shift when I don't have a ton of time to get stuff done through the day. <coughs> Obviously it's clean, but stuff starts to pile up. So that was good that I got that done. Anyway. I'll catch up later. Okay, so this is the next day. Um, Paul was night shift all week, so really I was quite overwhelmed with how much I had to do just because James wasn't sleeping great some of these days either. Um, so I'm watching Lona dress for you in the background, washing these dishes, putting dishes away that I had done yesterday, defrosting James's lunch in that jug with boiling water. We really do need to do a clear out of the kitchen, so if you're interested in seeing that, please leave me a comment down below and let me know. I'm now doing Paul's dishes from the night before and then just giving the kitchen a bit of a wipe down so that it's just a bit more organised. Okay, so it's four o'clock. I've just made James's porridge. All I do is use like blended oats and formula. So this was two bottles and a decent amount of oats. And then once it cools, I'll put it into the kind of little tray thing. And that'll be 10. That'll probably be more than 10 portions of little porridge for James. Okay, so we had no heat and no hot water for about an hour or two there because I didn't realise and then I couldn't fix it. So thank goodness for Paul's dad who came over and fixed it for us. Apparently Paul has to do that every few weeks. I was unaware of this. Anyway, an eventful Friday night, but I am about to go to bed. I'm going to quickly show you what I got in Tesco that I've been talking about for like, sorry, I'm just getting the roll. That I've been talking about for ages so that I can do it and then go to bed because this week has been crazy. I am so tired, but it's the end of week 20. So from Tesco last night, I got a Tesco Oxy Power Stain Remover. It's very similar, I think, to the one that I always use. Oh, that's some Ella's Kitchen pouches we got at Costco the other day. Um, I got some more Tommy Tippy spoons. These are the ones that we use. A few of them are now stained because I've had it and stuff, so I thought I'd pick up another pack. But then these ones are for when James starts to feed himself. So like seven months plus, it says. So they're a bit flatter, which means stuff won't fall as much and an easier grip. So I got them as well. And because that's the shape he's used to, we have the munchkin ones and he doesn't really like them because that's just not what he's used to. Um, I got some of these scent beads, Tesco version and Lenore, to put in with our washing because I've heard some really good things about them. Um, I got James a couple of different kind of foods. So I got him two of my first bolognese by Cowan Gate and two... Um, chicken Sunday lunch so just a bit different carrots as usual and prunes as usual because he really likes them 
And then I got some, that grey cardigan that I have, I got in green because it was 25% off clothing for club card members. And then I got a few things for James. So the this is like the World Wildlife, I think, foundation um, stuff. We had the lion one before for him. So I got this in 9 to 12 and 12 to 18. And it's a zip up. It's really good. And they wash really well. So got them. Also grabbed this really cute one that's navy kind of blue with planets. Um, that's an over the head one. But he's getting better with them. So that's quite cute. And uh, that's not my monster outfit in 12 to 18 months. So just a few things to kind of top them up. And then and there is just some more baby food pouches. As I have said previously, I make a lot of my own. But I also have some that I buy because it just makes my life easier some days. Like, for example, when Paul's been night shift. So this week... um. And it's me by myself all day and all night. Sometimes when James is fussing, it is just a lot easier to grab a pureed pouch rather than have to defrost something. Because you don't freeze them. You can freeze them. But you don't. I don't freeze them. So they're in my cupboard the whole time. Sorry, I'm just putting away some things while I'm on here multitasking. Um, but yeah, so I'm really glad that the heating is fixed the hot water is fixed because that was stressful because it was right when I was supposed to be giving James a bath anyway um I'm gonna head to bed because it is absolutely it's early it's only like five past eight but I am extremely tired from the past few nights when James has kind of had me up so I'm taking advantage of him being asleep right now and I'm gonna go to bed myself um, this has not been a Paul heavy vlog. Next week's will be more Paul, probably. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. This was week 20, I think. So tune in next week for week 21. Also, if you haven't, make sure you go and watch our Clean and Declutter With Me playlist. So, so far I've done the kitchen, which <laughs> you wouldn't know at this point. Um, the living room, the bathroom beauty room is coming in a couple of weeks because I've done it I've just need to film it I just need to edit it and also makeup declutter so you've seen face if you haven't go watch it um and next is eye makeup and then it's lips so yeah getting rid of a lot of my collection I feel so much better I've passed it on to some people feeling amazing anyway thanks so much for watching guys um we appreciate every single one of you that watches all the time and those of you that watch us sometimes and thank you Anyway, see you next week.